Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and we're going to carry on with the horse now. And as you remember, at the end of on the last video, I did a wash of uh, over the pinky areas and the white bone areas. So now what we're going to be doing is carrying on and highlighting now. See if we can get the horse finished at least. Um, now I know that in some parts of the the horse, the wash has made the white look grey rather than actually filled in the details. But um, we will try your best to sort that out. So what I'm going to do first off is get some of the null oil again um, and let's say null oil and just a little bit on the brush and we're just going to go over here once more I may need to run over this with white a little bit later. In fact, there's a couple of areas I've missed with the null and oil, so I'm just going to do a, a quick wash in the areas I have missed. I thought I got everywhere, but obviously I haven't. So, there we are. all I can do for the time being for that. Now we're going to be highlighting the um, pinky areas and for that we're going to be using a fine brush, fine detail brush with decent points on it and the same pink that we used to do the base coat for it And in this we're just going to pick out some fine lines and just bring them out a little bit. We don't want to be going too heavy handed with this because um, we just want to, as I say, highlight areas, not repaint. So just be incredibly gentle with the brush. Don't go overboard with it. Um, there's lots of areas that aren't going to be touched with this, um, but where it is going to be touched, you just want a, a little bit of um, the pink coming off, you don't want to overdo this. Because if you do, it's not going to look right. Just gently pick out your areas that are going to be highlighted. Like so. Now as I said this isn't the Reva Cavalry miniature, it's the Army Flag Burr, or Army Standard Burr. So um, I'm painting this slightly different to my um, re, um, Whatchamacallit, it's my Revenant Cavalry. Um, purely because the this is uh, a special request for Matt Ferrari who wanted me to do one of these as a the official kind of thing. Um, my brain's not working, what am I saying? Yeah, Matt Ferrari wanted me to paint the a Revenant Cavalry figure 
in the same colours or the same style that uh, Mantic paint those in. Um, well, this is the only mounted um, figure I have, so I can't really do the um, Revenant Cavalry, but I hope this is going to be good enough. This is near as damage anyway. So we're just doing gentle strokes with it and I'm hoping to get it looking as it should. Okay so that's the pinky areas done. Now there are areas of flesh for this model. Um, there's not much of it I'll grant you that but there are some. So what we're going to do is get some Abaddon Black, a very small amount of Abaddon Black and mix it in with quite a large amount of grey. Sorry, mix it with a rather large amount of white to make a grey. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> and we've already done this part grey anyway but we just need to highlight a few areas. Again, not much highlighting needs to be done because there's not much of this that is actually in in, in the light so just where we do see some it's a little too heavy on the on the brush for what we need but there we are. I'll just pick out our areas where we're going to be painting. Um, like so. And as I said, there's not going to be many for this highlighting here because there's not much in the line of the skin of the flesh of the horse that is on show. But where there is we do need to obviously highlight it. There we are. I think that is it. Next we're going to be using white, pure white and we're going to be highlighting the bone areas. Okay, so the bone areas are the areas that we did in the pale grey and the white and washed with um, the null oil. And with these areas we do want to pick them out carefully. like so and there will be areas that probably aren't um, going to be highlighted because they are under the horse or whatever but we'll, we still want to pick out some detail so I will be doing a little bit more than really would be necessary I say it's just to pick out detail rather than to add highlights. So for highlighting that you'd get more colour, more paint on it. For the detail, it'll be going around the edges. Um, as you'll see in a second, this part here won't be in in light but I will be adding that little bit to that edge there to show that there is a little bit of detail whereas this part will be a lot more in in the light and when we get round to doing like a gradiated area because we don't want it to have a sharp line there I will be adding a few dots along the edge 
which will fan it out that little bit, well not fan it out, blend it out a little bit more. Right. And that's that lead almost done. So we're just looking for areas of detail now rather than highlight because here is where the leg is going to be under the horse so there won't be any light getting to it. Now let's try this leg. Again it's under the horse so all we're doing is looking for highlights sorry all we're doing is looking for detail we're not highlighting with this front legs now and again we are looking to pick out details as well as highlighting so where you think light is going to hit just put a little bit of paint there where light isn't going to hit I'll do some detail and just put a very small, tiny, least little amount of paint. Just make sure that if when you're picking out the detail that you pick out detail and not just put a splodge of paint on it. one has been done. Next what we're going to be doing is picking out the detail on the horse's face. And you can see what, what I was meaning in the last video about the wash going into the edges of the um, armour there. Um, so I didn't need to go overboard with painting the edges of the armour as the, uh, the black wash or disguise that. make sure as I said where light is going to hit you're going to see some of this highlight colour and oops I just realised I, I do hope I've managed to get most if not everything on camera I apologise if I've drifted off again. As you know, it's unfortunately a bad habit of mine to do that. There we are. Okay. 
Well, righty then. Next, what we're going to be doing is going over the eyes. <coughs> now, the eyes in the Mantic ones are a very pale green with a green glow. Oops, there goes my phone. Um, updated it and I've uh, updated it this morning and uh, I forgot to put my Uji on with it. Um, so, sorry, put it back on silent. That's that one. That won't do. Um, there we are. It's at the back here. What we're going to be using to add the um, eyes is scorpion green. It's an old one. I can't remember. I think it's, is it moot green? The new colour. We're not doing a vast amount with this one. It is just a very, 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 very small amount of paint that we're going to be using for this. I um, just need to wash my brush properly. There we go. A little bit of water and going to do a wash, a very, 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 very pale wash of this scorpion green all around the eye. area, And then we'll come in with a darker green to pick out the, the dot in the eye. That's that done. As you can see, hopefully, focus. Well, that's given a glow around the eye. What we will do when that's dried is come back and add the, the, the slightly darkish green interior for the eye. Now, next, what we're going to be using is I did say we're going to be. Uh, I wasn't sure whether it was um, oh, what you call it, um, metallic or just grey. I've decided to use metallic colour and I'm using Runefang steel. And quite a bit of this our wet palette there we go I'll put that to one side and what we're going to be doing with this is around the very edges not all the edges of the um, armour now you really need a very steady hand for this so why I'm doing this I don't know, because I don't have one, but I shall can try it that way with the flat edge of my brush. I'm doing all the same areas. And keep keep your brush filled up. Don't let it run out. Um, there we go. I'll come back a little later and. Well, we've done on one edge we'll come back and do another edge it's just so you don't you're not continually moving the model and the actual 
pictures make it look as though the black is very very shiny so before I do any more on the model after doing this part I want to double check the um, the actual image fully um, just to make sure or as best as I can rather not fully just to make sure that that's what it is because if that's what it says then we'll go over with our coat and we're going to be going over every part of the black armour So we'll do all this side of the head armour first. I've just got my put my lights on, hopefully it'll help me see a little better what I'm painting, even though the camera stand is in the way a little bit. this side and so the hard part is just trying to follow the or trying to remember the colours that's used original photos and I haven't got a picture with on, uh, in front of me to refer to I really should have so if you're doing this and you want to do the the proper colors or the mantic colors for it then my advice is have a photograph in front of you My advice for, um, for when you're painting models, if there isn't a reason why you need to paint everything the same colour as the or specific colour, then make your own colours up. Make the um, it yours, not a copy of somebody else's. But as I say, there's a special reason why I'm doing this. I've been asked. So, that's the reason I'm breaking my usual habit. There we are. And as I said, I'm not going to be using any of the fast forwarding techniques that I usually do in editing. This everything you see is going to be or everything I do you're going to see. I'm not going to be editing any of this. For the simple reason being I have been asked, as I said in the previous video, and as I've just really said. Um, again, I've been asked to do this video, um, so if I've been asked to do it, then I'm doing, I'm posting all of what I've done. And I know I need to get on with my Space Hulk stuff, I need to get on with, oh, I've still got a few, um, Kings of War minis to do. Um, I've got some Dead Zone minis to do. 
and I have still have um, one of the sets of Dungeon Command to paint. I'm going to have to do something about this. Stick it out that I've got on the bottom here, it's coming loose. Take it off for a second while well, I just do this. There we go. Now, as I said, I'm not sure as to whether this is the right colour or not. Ah, I'm just going to have to do some uh, fluffing about. I'm just going to pause this for a second while I get this sticky tack sorted out so it's beginning to annoy me it won't be a moment Okay, back again, and so far we've done the head gear and the yoke, it's not a yoke, I don't know what it is at the front, the harness at the front, and now it's all this stuff at the back that needs doing, and then Can come back and paint. Oops. In the case of I can come back and paint, I can uh, then paint the eye. Or the eyes of the horse, and then. if you can't if you're making mistakes like that when you're going over these edges um, you can soon cover them up with black again that is not an issue um, I'm certainly not worried about it um, Still coming loose, it's probably because I'm pressing on it, I think. And finally... So finally start to come oh, oh god start to come and touch up but I've lost my train of thought unfortunately on that one so I made made a big bit of a pig's on that last bit but as I said we can always come back and sort out anything like that. I just want to make sure that there's the metal look over here. I 
going down the front of this. Oh, haven't done the, haven't done this part. So. Once I'd finished all that, obviously not. There we are. So that is, for the most part, finished. It's just a case of touching up now on the black, which isn't a big deal. Um, all we need to do is just it on black on the on the brush and just touch up where we, where it needs it like so Um, as I said, that's not hard work, it's just a little bit time consuming and can be a little bit fiddly. But the results, other than that, uh, that chain, that side of the chain very well. I'll come back to do that in a second. that need touching up the and I think that is it what I'm also going to do now is well I think on using a little bit more than null nile and the fine detail brush that we've just been using just run over the teeth of the horse one more time to pick those out and that is the horse complete for two spots of paint now as I said, I do want to check the armour on this to make sure whether it is, or whether or not it is shiny. It looks shiny. If it is, I'll come back and I'll give it a coat of hard coat. Um, but we're using now Warboss Green. And we just want a very small amount on the brush. And that is going to be going... in the eye area as you can see from the way my hand is shaking it's not the best thing for doing all these detailed fine lines but that is the horse complete. As I say, I'm not really fussed about the stand at the moment. That can be the last thing that gets done. But there's the horse. Now, before we go, I want to take the null oil and I want to go over the skull of this fella. give it a good wash and we also want to go over the the skeletal torso for the flag bowl and 
and his fingers as well. And when we come back we will begin to paint the rider. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we'll say I'll double check the armor. It looks as though, from what I remember, it seems to be very shiny. So, in fact, beggar it. I'm not going to go and check. I'm just going to do it. So let's get that out. We have the hard coat and the armour sections are going to be done with the hard coat and that does not include the area where the rider will sit. Just going over just the ah. so I'm just giving the paint another a good shake. So we're just going over the armor plating. I suppose this will give it that metallic look rather than it being um, a, a matte black. So I don't understand why if it is shiny white is shiny. Whether it's shining the pictures or not, it is on here. There we go. So I have to give that time to dry now, and then on the wash and the rider, time to dry. And when it is dry, we'll come back and we'll continue with the rider. But until then, as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care, God bless, and bye for now.